How's it going guys? Rob here and I'm coming to you with another one of these videos. Um, today's subject is uh, cheating um, and probably other ones that I can't think of right now. <laughs> so we're just gonna go from here. Um, so cheating. Cheating's a big deal and um, I don't understand why people do it. Um, I mean, I, you always hear the term, if you don't like them, then don't stay in why cheat? Like, if, if, you're, if you start feeling different, just leave them. Why cheat? Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it, it, it isn't... Like, what do you think of when you're just like, okay, I'm about to cheat and I know I'm going to. Like, I'm about to hook up with this dude or I'm about to hook up with this girl, but I have a boyfriend or girlfriend, like... And then the next morning... Like, or the next day, they'll find out, and you'll be like, Oh, no, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, or, or this and that. Like, it's cheating. Like, are you freaking retarded? <laughs> like, oh, wait, what's the point? Like, okay, in my relationships, I have been cheated on. I don't even know how many times. Like, I don't know, it's just, and there, there's, like, ways that you know if they're cheating or something's going on. Because, um, or if you hear stuff from, like, their old relationships, like, if you hear rumors about them. Well, with my last relationship, people always told me, watch out for her. Like, she will, and I was always like, no, nah, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. And then one day, I was sitting there talking to her, and then she was just like, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to, uh, hang out with uh, this guy and this guy is her ex and he's like yeah he's coming over to my house and we're just gonna hang out and I looked at her I was like I mean yeah I, I mean I can I can like, say I'm the jealous type it, who isn't come on but um yeah she was like yeah we're gonna hang out I'm gonna hang out with this guy and uh, he, he's my ex like he's he's her ex and, I was, and then I heard that he he liked her a lot like I heard that he still liked her so I was like Mm, no and she was like it's just like she was just like we're just gonna hang out we're not gonna do anything i was like okay if you think if he likes you a lot then like he's he, okay i guess he kissed her already and all this other crap but anyways um what makes you think you're not gonna he's not gonna try anything again like you dumb or something and then like then she like went around and started telling people that i cheated and i was like what? Because I w cause I went to Fear Farm with my friends, or not Fear Farm, The Nest, and um, last Halloween, and uh, we uh, we were hanging out, and then she went around and told everyone that I went with a group of girls, and I was like, no, I went with my friends and their girlfriends, because I was a loner, <laughs> but you know, and uh, so yeah, and then she tried to say I had a, a girl with me or something, and I was like, no. so people started asking me why I cheated and I was like I didn't cheat because I know better but whatever and I, I like I don't know it's just it's just dumb cheating is freaking ridiculous like if you don't like them just break up with them leave them they'll find someone better if you're gonna cheat it's not worth it and if you get cheated on yeah you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel like crap the next day but what can you do about it? <laughs> okay, uh, it, I don't know. It's just don't worry about it. And then, um, and I guess uh, another thing. Hold on, uh, I have like a list I can talk about. Hold on. Oh, pe bullying, bullying. Like, I see bullying. I mean, I'm not. I okay. There we go. My my freaking computer froze up. <laughs> Anyways, uh. I see bullying all the time. Um, it's mostly like the popular kids. Like they'll sit there and try to make their friends laugh by freaking like um they're like there's kids and then they'll they're, 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 okay let's say they're just like normal kids. And they're kind of nerdy. They're kind of quiet and all this stuff. And they're walking at lunch. Well, like the popular kids, the popular crowd will sit there and they'll call them over. And be like, hey, come over here. And they'll go over there all scared, like, oh crap, I'm going to the popular table. And then they'll ask him a question, and he'll answer to it, and they'll look at each other. Then they'll walk away. Then they laugh. And I'm like, and the poor kid will turn around, and he see them laughing, and I'm just sitting there like, I see this all the time at lunch. Like, I sit by the freaking popular and tool kids, and it's like, 
You kids are such freaking jackasses. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It, it made. It, it's just. I don't know. I, it's, and they, they'll always like be obnoxious and like. I don't know. But I, I see bullying. It, it, if it's not physically, it's mentally bullying, and I don't know. It's just. It's really not right. I, I think. I mean, if I, to tell you the truth, if I saw someone getting beat up in the in the hall, like the hallway, or getting bullied, getting pushed around, or something like that, I would sit there and protect them. I, I think I'd go up there and like, hey, tell the dude back off, okay? Or and then he'll probably try to start something with me, but whatever. And then uh, let's see what else. I have a list on my phone, so uh, let's see what it really means. Okay. Where do I see where do I see me in my life in ten years? Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Um, when, what I see myself in is a um, is in the Air Force. Um, I came I'm I come from a poor background. Like I used to live in a trailer when I was little and all this stuff. And uh, I'm not really one of those pop popular rich kids and all this stuff. Like other kids have nice cars and stuff and. I just have my truck, my redneck truck, <laughs> and it's, I, I don't know, it's just, it's me, I guess, I, I mean, what I see myself as going to the Air Force, because my initial thing was to do was to go in and get college money, well, I'm changing my mind about that, and it's just staying in, because if I stay in, um, in about 20 years, if I stay in, if I go in at 19, Stand for 20 years, I'll be able to retire at like 45 years old. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I'll be working as a technical aircraft mechanic, I think, and um, I'll be making about two thousand dollars a month. Probably live on base for a while and then move off of base and get my own place. So yeah, that's my life in 10 years. Maybe go to college, maybe get some school in the in the service, but and. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep in touch with everyone as I can. I mean, I have, I don't know. I, li I like to find a girl that will somehow. I don't know. I, I always thought about. I always wanted a, a high school sweetheart, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Like, I can barely get a date for freaking homecoming. <laughs> and I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So that's what this talk was about uh you guys can message me and uh text me uh some more ideas for the next talk i have and i hope you guys enjoyed this is a really long talk <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe to my page and uh yeah um i'll see you guys later see ya